A situated documentary is a place-based approach to learning where students use mobile technologies to experience real-life events in the locations where they actually occurred. In the Eris game Dilemma 1944, players travel back to Kitsilano High School in Vancouver during the Second World War, where they become a graduating student struggling to decide whether or not to join the Canadian forces fighting in Europe and Asia at this pivotal time in history. Eris is available from the Apple App Store. Players must create an account, then use the search function to find Dilemma 1944. Eris directs student teams outside to the different locations in the story. When they get within GPS range, the game triggers various media and artifacts that can be collected into an inventory. The first plaque initiates a video that provides context and important background information for consideration by the viewers. Item icons augment reality by overlaying players' lines of sight with period photographs, connecting them to past kit students through place and time. Teams then follow the map icons to adjoining Connaught Park, where on May 3, 1944, school cadets paraded in front of Canadian military dignitaries and school officials. Students are placed in the center of the activity of this event augmented in video from original film footage. Players navigate between the various game tabs including the map, inventory, and notes where they can record their own comments, make voice memos, and take photos. Original Canadian newsreels have been included as well as interactive maps that use geographic information systems to help students consider the scope and impact of losses on families in the community. Players also have fictitious conversations with real Kitsilino students from 1944 who have different opinions on enlistment and conscription. Sometimes, such as in the case with Principal Jimmy Gordon, that message is deliberately ambiguous, making the decision that much more difficult. Students then pause the game, reflect on the experience, and respond to the dilemma by composing a letter to a loved one explaining their decision to enlist or stay at home. They are encouraged to exchange and evaluate each other's positions. In part two, students leave the virtual space of 1944 and return to the present day. They venture inside the school and scan QR codes to piece together what happened to the real kit students depicted in Dilemma 1944. As groups find them on the grad class composites, a connection is made across decades. They collect their pictures and record any comments, observations, or thoughts in their game inventories. Eris then directs them to the war memorial in the front foyer. In 1946, the school community erected a brass plaque commemorating all the former Kitsilano students who died in the Second World War and lists of all those who served. Students must determine which personalities in Dilemma 1944 died and which ones survived. The final QR codes trigger video interviews that tell their stories, one of a prisoner of war survivor as told by a family member, and the other by a veteran in his own words who returned to Kitsilano in 2015 to tell his story of enlisting in the Navy at 18 years old. Situated documentaries like Dilemma 1944 allow students to examine the complexities of past events and assess accepted narratives by providing them with different learning experiences that connect to place, space, and time.